Before this video gets started, I do want to put a little PSA in the beginning of it. I do say this exact same thing at the end of it, and I'm sorry for the repetitiveness, but uh, make sure you guys are following me over on Twitch. I am streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from like 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, I've been playing Battle Star Wars Battlefront 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. i um, been playing Warzone with the homies, um, with Toy Bills, Pizza Vision, Jared, uh, and then a couple of people that don't have YouTube. So if I said their names, you really wouldn't even know about them. But anyways, um, yeah, so go follow me there. Link is in the description and in the pinned comments. Um, enjoy this video and I am sorry for saying this at the beginning and the end of the video. What's going on everybody? It's Josh today. A very, very possibly quick unboxing of this figure. This is a Mythic Legion figure. Um, I got it off of the My Action Figure Custom sale, I think sometime last week. Um, if you guys don't already know, MyActionFigureCustoms.com, they do a bunch of like uh, 3D printed custom head sculpts. Um, they do a lot of unpainted and painted. Um, I have quite a few uh, head sculpts already. And I have some unpainted stuff that I need people to paint for me. Um, I'll actually throw a picture up right here. Um, I posted this on Instagram a couple days ago. Uh, Billy and I went out for some toy photography and instead of using just a plain Mythic Legion figure, not plain as in it's bad, but just like a like a base uh, Mythic Legion figure, I decided to put one of the vampire head sculpts on it. I think it turned out pretty good. Let me guys, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. There we go. I can talk uh, down in the comments of that picture. But this figure was $120 after shipping. I think the, the price of the figure is actually like $110. This is a... I hate using the word rare, but it is a rare figure. It's from the very, very early waves of figures. It's an orc, and I believe his name is uh, Urku. I don't know, I don't even think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's U-R-K-K-U, I think, I don't know. If, if it's wrong, I'll put the spelling up on the screen if I remember. Um, but I do, ironically, have a, uh, a head sculpt to put on this figure that I will show you once it's unboxed, but we got some lovely peanuts on here. I don't like those at all. So he did come complete as far as I know. Um, so pretty much how they did this sale is he just randomly, the owner randomly puts the links available. Like he never tells you what time the sale is going. You'll generically get an email if you're lucky on when the sale goes. So. I was I happen to be in my email on my computer uh, when I got the email but yeah this figure is $110 and then $10 shipping but here he is wow he's pretty cool so generic orc just with some uh, I would say some dirty silver armor. It's not really like metallic. Let me show you guys what he looks like with the shoulder pads. I don't even know if, he might not be complete. I have zero idea. I didn't even look. I just knew that I needed this figure and uh, I just hit purchase. Cause I've had a, some PayPal money stashed away for a, for a while. Yeah, he looks pretty cool with the, uh, with the shoulder pads on, shoulder armor, whatever you want to call it. Let me um, let me get the head sculpt because it's actually on a different orc figure right now. Uh, I think that head sculpt was actually supposed to kind of design for this figure. So let me take a look real quick. So here is the head sculpt that I was talking about. So here was the original. If that will focus, probably not. Let's see if I can get this there. So there's the original and there's the new one. So. Looking at it from a distance, you can't really tell the uh, the color difference up close. You can tell this the head sculpt on here is a little more clean, and then the uh, the armor is a little more distressed, weathering look to it. But I don't know. I kind of like it. I like it a lot. So up there, I have quite a few orcs. Um, I have the Gorthok shadow orc and everything. Let me actually see if I can get you guys a better shot of this. But here's a little bit of my orc army that I have up here, as well as the ogres and the, the forest troll. So he will fit in perfectly because I also have the orc, uh, a standard green legion build orc that will be uh, that will be back there as well. But I think I'm going to stand Urku. I'm, that's what I'm calling him next to Urzok right here. That open mouth orc in the middle. 
he was also my action figure customs um, I'm not sure where that head sculpt came from I just bought that from Nikki on Instagram and then this head sculpt as well is a my action figure customs so overall there he is next to an original Legion Builder obviously the head on this one is the original head from this one but skin tone looks about the same I think he's a little lighter than this guy green wise but overall I love the Oryx and I love the Templars those are, those are my favorite um, mythics in my collection right now so that's going to do it for the video guys uh, there will be a video next week probably Tuesday um, I can't give you any real details about it yet but hopefully you guys will enjoy it um, it should be fun but make sure uh, yeah you're subscribed if you enjoy the content like the video if you did like it and if you didn't like it then that's fine just do whatever you got to do also make sure you follow me on twitch um, I'm streaming every Monday Wednesday and Friday over there um, just to kind of kill some time and hang out with you guys and play some video games with the homies so but until the next video I will see you guys then stay safe uh, Actually, drop me a comment of what you guys have recently picked up, even whether it's a Mythic Legion or it's something else, whatever it is. Just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll talk to you guys on there. I love you so much. And as always, may the figs be with you.